Diane Haidt is the founder of Forever Young Veterans. It's an organization that grants wishes for our senior military veterans. She's also written a book and it's called Forever Young Veterans, Stories of Sacrifice, Healing, and Hope. There's no better person to help us observe Memorial Day than Diane Haidt. Diane, welcome back Hi. to the show. Good to see you, Governor. I'm excited that you've written a book telling some of these remarkable stories, because when you were with us before, you introduced us to some amazing veterans who had some pretty extraordinary stories. Yes, and when we were on the show last time, K.T. Robbins came, and he is in our book. He should be. <laughs> <laughs> but I... Uh, Yes, you remember, the reason I started Forever Young is my father came back from World War II and became an alcoholic, and I watched him suffer, and our family suffered. But what I found as I began to grant wishes for our American heroes is that they were suffering just like my dad. Mm. And it shocked me, because you know when you go through something something traumatic, you think you're the only one. And I was so surprised to find out that World War II veterans were struggling like my father and so were their families. And so we began that journey of uh, helping to bring honor and healing to their lives. And so out of that, uh, we decided because of the pandemic and everyone was staying at home, Mike Ware, who really helped me with this book. And he is a former U.S. Air Force fighter pilot there and you go. volunteer. <laughs> so you mentioned KT, and he was with us before. He's now, what, 104? Is that no, right? he'll be 102 on July 4th. Oh, he's 4th. just a kid, just a kid, 102. <laughs> but he, he was on a bakery squadron when he was in France in World War II. He yes. met this young lady. They, I think it's fair to say they fell in love. They were in love. And then he went back. They lost touch. She waited five years hoping that maybe they would reconnect. And like 70 years later, they finally got to reconnect. Since this time, his wife uh, that he had here yes. had passed away. You took KT to France and you found... That young lady who was at the time, what, 93 years old? She was, and, and he was 98. And we took him back for the 75th anniversary in Normandy. And this was his wish. He wanted to find her, but he kept saying, I know she's not alive. I know she's not alive. And uh, we were working with a national TV station in Paris, and they found her with one phone call. Wow. And, <laughs> and when, when we brought them together, they started where they left off. And I mean... <laughs> it was like the Tennessee Valley Authority has found electricity all over again, haven't they? They were kissing and kissing. <laughs> and then when we went back for the 75th of Belgium, the Battle of the Bulge, he went with us and he went and spent four days with her. And they sent me a picture and they're in a bed with the covers up. <laughs> I'm like, oh my soul. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even want to ask any questions about this. You know, but what you have done is bring some of these veterans who have gone through such trauma in their combat and granting them a wish. You think, oh, that's something that's nice to do for an eight year old. But we're talking about people who really paid a price for this country. What are some of the things that have happened in people's lives because Forever Young has connected them to themselves and their spiritual healing? Well, I'd like to talk about one of the wishes in the book that John Kuhn, he took Marines to Tarawa. Mm -hmm. And he said these young men were terrified and he was encouraging them, I'm gonna come back and get you. It's gonna be okay. And he would take more Marines in and he kept encouraging them, I'm gonna come back. But what ended up happening is he had to go back and bury them. Mm -hmm. And it devastated his life. And when we met him, he just said to me, will you please take me to Hawaii? And I guess he just, that was as close to Tarawa as he could get. But what I didn't realize is it was really a, a divine appointment for mm -hmm. him because we went to Punch Bowl Cemetery. And when we arrived, the director was up there. We had many, many World War II veterans on that trip. And he said, well, we have a lot of uh, fallen Marines coming in, 
that we have found. And he said, they're from Tarawa. Mm. Now, John, he said, were they in this certain place? Were they buried in this certain way? And the director was like, well, how, did, how do you know this? And he goes, I buried them. Mm. And he was so mm. heartbroken that he had not been able to bring them home. Well, the director immediately knew what he had here and he got a golf cart and he came and he got John and off they went. And it was such a spiritual moment for him because he was able to be there when they arrived to America. Wow. When you see a restored life yeah. like that, it is one of the most exciting things you can experience. Diane, that's why we are so grateful for what you're doing with Forever Young. The book is such a powerful reminder of these stories. And I know that there may be some of you that are touched by what they're doing and you can help, help sponsor some of these folks to have their wishes granted. And if you'd like to help Forever Young Veterans and its mission of granting wishes for senior U.S. military veterans and to get your copy of Diane's terrific new book, if you go to Huckabee.tv, we have a direct connection to what Diane and Forever Young is doing. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.